It's not the heat, it's the humidity. We hear that all the time. Why is it when we have a large amount of moisture in the air, we feel kind of groggy, we are a little bit slow on the go? Well, it has to do with our mechanism we have in our human body to be able to control our internal temperature. It's sweating, kind of. We'll explain that in a minute. When air temperature, mid to upper 60s on this day, and dew point temperatures are very close to each other, then we start to see dew start to form. Basically, the air can't hold any more water vapor, invisible water uh, gas, can't hold it anymore at that temperature and at that pressure, and we start to see dew forming. Usually in the mid-60s, we start to feel and say that it's humid. But on this day, dew points in the mid-70s, that is very oppressive, and that is going to give us, uh, when we combine the air temperature on this day, upper 80s, with the dew point temperature, that gives us our heat index, and that tells us what it feels like to our body. And on this day, you can see triple digits. Uh, there are some dangers that go with this. Now, sweating. People think that sweating is how we keep our bodies cool. Mm, almost. It's actually the evaporation of sweat. You see, when water changes state from a liquid, sweat, to gas, evaporating, uh, heat is absorbed in that process. Well, the net effect of that is cooling. So the best thing that can happen when we're working out or when we're working or doing anything out in the heat is to sweat. The problem comes when the air is so full of moisture, we don't do that as efficiently. And that's when we can have problems. So there are some dangers that go with the heat and the humidity. And the first of which would be heat exhaustion. Uh, that is the lesser of the two mm, dangers. Excessive sweating. You'll be sweating like crazy. Also, you'll be nauseous, might vomit, muscle cramps, rapid or weak pulse, cool and clammy skin. The more dangerous is heat stroke. And that is the absence of sweating. So you won't be sweating at all. That's why we tell you it's so important to hydrate so the your machine, your human body, uh, can have lots of moisture in, with which to sweat. Skin's hot to the touch, seizures, you pass out. This is when you want to call 911. So it's important to stay hydrated when it's hot and when it's humid, which on this day it's going to be. Well, stay safe and thanks for joining us.